After a couple of weeks off from MLS play, the LA Galaxy returned to action this Sunday against the Portland Timbers, all part of a grand Father's Day event here at the Home Depot Center, kicking off the game at 4 p.m. Kobe Jones, Mark Rogandino here with you as we bring you this week's view from the booth. All right, Kobe, as I just mentioned, a couple of weeks off, maybe a chance for LA to recharge their batteries a little bit and get back at it going through the rest of the season. Exactly, and I like what you said, recharge. For me, it's recharging mentally. That's exactly what the Galaxy needs to do right now focus on what's coming up in this season and fortunately when you really look at it they're not that far out of it absolutely i mean you look at the western conference table the team they play portland is a couple points ahead of them but with the exception of san jose and real salt like those two teams have certainly created some of a gap but still very much within reach especially for la three games in the next eight days starting this sunday they have an opportunity to climb up a couple of spots exactly they pick up a, a few of those games hopefully all three then all of a sudden you're looking at a team that is challenging for the playoff spots and that's what's important thankfully the whole system has changed this year where you're just concerned about the western conference don't have to worry about the East, which is good, and just getting those few spots towards the top, and then you're in. The Galaxy's in a good position right now to move forward if they get everything right on the field. Oh, Galaxy fans would be very happy with nine points out of three matches. Let's talk about the team a little bit. One of the big boosts for this team could be the return of Josh Saunders. He's made a couple of reserve match performances, and it looks like he could be in the starting lineup. Well, that's very important that Josh Saunders has been with the team for a while now competing in the reserve matches, getting his game fitness back. We do know that there's a little bit of difference in that reserve match and the actual first team games. But what's most important about Josh being back is that he's in with the team, being with the guys, and bonding. That's very important that the guys can get trust back in Josh right now. And certainly his most recent performance, 90 minutes in a 3-1 win in a reserve game against Vancouver. Hopefully that'll be a sign of things to come. Let's talk about up front and the offense a little bit. Obviously no Robbie Keane. He's still away with Ireland at the Euros. Who do you expect to be in the mix up top for LA? Well, I, I definitely think a lot of responsibility is going to be on Chad Barrett right now. I, mean, I agree. With, with, with Chad being up top, he's going to have that responsibility because players are injured. you got Edson Buttle you know, with his, his minor surgery. You know, you're going to have a lot of issues, but it's all going to be about Barrett. And, and what I like about this is it's not going to be about Landon Donovan. It's not going to be about Robbie Keane. It's not going to even be about David Beckham. It's about other players stepping up and performing right now, and that's going to be necessary that these guys – build up. So certainly we're talking about veterans like Pat Noonan, uh, Janino maybe coming back into the fold a little bit more, mm -hmm. Mike McGee obviously a player that we've seen can finish clinically but collectively I think what you're heading toward is you want to see these guys all play their roles and when you add all the pieces together hopefully it means three points. All right let's take the focus over to the opponent the Portland Timbers. This is a team actually kind of like LA really have not had much success this season as I mentioned a moment ago just two points better than LA in the Western Conference standings so they need a result and they're going to be hungry to come down here here. Remember, one of LA's three wins came here 3 1 against the Timbers earlier this year. Well, th that's saying a lot. You know, hopefully history repeats itself. You yes. Know, in the, in yes. the Los Angeles Galaxy can get a win here against Portland. Now, the issue is, you know, everything being said that we talked about, LA is missing a lot of players. Yes. Due to injuries, due to, you know, call ups to national teams. So you're getting a lot of guys that are having opportunities, but to be, let's be honest, it's a lot of guys that usually don't start haven't played together much, and they're going against a Portland team that is just as hungry because they know they're at the cellar as well. You know, they're fighting for their lives to try to get to the playoffs. And you know in John Spencer, he's going to get this team hyped up, especially knowing that they lost last time to the Galaxy. So tough situation for the Galaxy. They need to match the energy and heart that John Spencer is going to, you know, get burning in his team as they come down here to play. Uh, Chris Boyd probably has to be the one biggest threat going forward for the Timbers, but they did they did just add Danny Mwanga in a trade. He had some success in the Pacific Northwest at the collegiate level. They're hoping that'll translate to the professional level, but going back to Boyd, remember he scored the goal for Portland when they were here two months ago. He's a pretty good player going forward. He plays that line right off the back shoulder of the defenders trying to force the offside flag to come up to get his chances. Exactly, and this is going to be something that A.J. Delagarza is going to have to uh, pay attention to and keep his whole back line aware of because Boyd is is a solid player and a very savvy player you know he does like to play the line he flirts with it sometimes he'll go off intentionally so you think he's offside so you can turn away and then he'll step back on sides right before the ball is being served and the next thing you know he's in front of you getting to on the on the end of a header you know and putting the ball in the back of the net so that's going to be very important that AJ's always going to have to be aware keep whoever's playing next to him aware keeping his his outside backs tucked in tight so you can have that support 
What a better way to join a couple of fathers on Father's Day. Get your tickets. Go to LAGalaxy.com. Remember, it's a 4 p.m. kickoff time this Sunday. The LA Galaxy taking on the Portland Timbers and the Galaxy looking to get back in the win column. For Kobe Jones, I'm Mark Rogandino. That's this week's View from the Booth. Yes.